What's good, homies? It's your man, Dr. BOA. You know, one thing we know for sure is that women don't appreciate your validation. They never have. They never will. Will they accept it? Yes. Does it make them feel good? Yes, a little bit. But they don't appreciate it. And it doesn't last long. When women dress the way they dress, scantily clad, showing their print, nip slips, those women don't do that for men. Those women do that as an expression of their participation in the fantastic voyage. It just so happened that the tricks and lames see it and get turned on by it. I tell you men all the time, never like a woman's pictures, never come in on her pictures, never validate her because she's showing body parts. Or she's almost showing her body because she doesn't care about it. And don't tell me, well, I do it because I want to do it. It don't matter if she care about it because you sound even more stupid. Women will say anything that they can think of, whether it's logical or not, to try to prove a point. And we also know that everything they say must be taken with a grain of salt. But I'm going to tell you one telltale sign that a woman is just blowing smoke up our rears. When a woman says something and she has no proof of it and she really doesn't stand behind it, instead of giving you a bunch of factual information about it, she will ask a bunch of open ended questions. As to leave it up to you to explain why she says what she says and why she feels that way. Prime example of that is in a recent interview with Angie Martinez. Uh, you know, the leader of the modern fantastic voyage, Megan Thee Stallion says some crazy things about why she dresses, acts, talks, walks, and perpetuates the fantastic voyage. And these things are things that we know not to be true. And just a woman who has gotten a little confidence because she's made a little money, a little money, while still being controlled and managed by men. Let's take a deep dive on this one. But first... Let's elevate to a higher plane. Prepare for takeoff. What should men know about women that they probably get wrong? I feel like men should really realize that everything that women do is not for them. Whoa. Wait, hold on, hold on. I feel like men should realize everything that a woman does is not for them. That's um, so good. Specifically, one, one of the things I would say, I, I do not dress the way that I dress because I'm trying to impress a man. I do not speak the way that I speak because I'm trying to impress a man. Um, I don't really feel like, you know, I'm taking breaths, walking around the earth living because I want to attract some man. Uh, <laughs> I live my life for me. I feel like men should definitely realize that women are living their life because it's their life to live. Uh, I'm here working because I, I want to support myself. It is nice to have the support of a man, but don't get that confused with I need the support of a man. Don't get me confused. Don't get my sexiness confused with, oh, I'm getting sexy because I want you to look at me. I'm getting sexy because, baby, I like to be sexy. Like, baby, I like what I see in the mirror. This wasn't for you to like what you see when you see me. Uh, <laughs> I talk like this because this is how I talk. Like, I'm sorry that you may find this attractive and that you, <laughs> that you, you might like what I'm saying, but I'm saying it because I like to say it. Now, what you hear is a woman who has finally gotten some confidence in her life. Because let's be realistic. We all know women who dress like that seek validation. It's a validation seeking process. Now she makes money off of it so she doesn't have to look at the validation from men looking and wanting to talk to her. She gets the validation from being able to make money off of it. She gets the validation from likes on her pictures. She gets the validations from comments on her pictures. She gets the validations from all of these different things where she doesn't need the face to face, hand to hand validation of a man trying to talk to her or a man approaching her and secondly the girl has a reputation where even guys in the industry don't even try to touch her but when you hear a woman say something like this 
it just goes to show that a woman will say anything to try to get a rise out of men. And these types of things have to be ignored. If a woman says something and her explanation to why she feels that way is, well, how do you know I don't like what I see in the mirror? Well, 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 how do you know I don't want to dress like that? Well, 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 how do you know I don't like the way I talk like that? And here's the thing. No real man likes the way she talks. She talks about taking advantage of simps. She talks about what she's willing to do and able to do because she interacts with weak men who are willing to pay to play. Only a beta male simp mangina would be impressed by a woman who carries herself this way. Only a beta male simp mangina will be impressed by a woman who perpetuates these type of ideas and promotes this type of activity among women, young women at that. So I don't know who these men are who are, you know, in, impressed by this and, and, and find this attractive. Listen to how she talks. I don't want a woman around me whose voice sounds like that. I like soft voices. Listen to the interview. Compare her voice to Anna Martin, Angie Martinez's voice. You see a big, huge difference. There's a difference in the tonation. There's a difference in the eloquence. It's the same difference between you and talking to a woman. And the bottom line is, man, who really cares why a woman is on the thoughtastic voyage? I don't know about you guys, but I don't know any guys who look at Megan Thee Stallion as, as this, this beauty queen that they just want to have or any man that I know around the world who would Pick her to be his woman. So what we hear is, is delusions of grandeur. What she thinks that because she's this celebrity now that she's sought after. See, here's the thing about women. Becoming a celebrity doesn't make you more sought after by men. It makes you more visible. So if you carry yourself the right way, it makes you more appealing. But this isn't the right way. But with men, when we attain a certain amount of fame, notoriety and financial success, Man, it elevates women's interest in us. It elevates women's desire for us. It elevates women's willingness to make sacrifices to be in our presence. Now, granted, it does increase the chance that a woman is going to try to pull one over on you fast, too. But that visibility does something for us. It doesn't do it doesn't do for a woman. And she's talking like that visibility has done that for her. It has not. But I'm telling you what this is. It's the social media validation. It's the social media validation. But what we have to keep in mind as we take a deep dive on this. Women who behave this way, behave this way because it's just a part of who they are. Once a woman gets in her mind that she needs to seek the validation of men with certain behaviors, those behaviors don't change. Validation is addictive. Once you start getting it in the way that you want it, you never stop trying to do it that way. So her problem is the men who say, why don't you put some clothes on? That's not attractive. Nobody wants that. She's not talking to the men who find it attractive. She's talking to the men who don't find it attractive. But here's the thing. The men who don't find it attractive shouldn't care. Why do you care what she wears? Why do you care what she, why are you even listening to her music is what I want to know. This whole rap culture has been around. Lil' Kim and Foxy rapped about this man in the 90s. This has been around forever. It's not some new thing. And that's just the reality of the situation, man. So we can't allow these foolish things that women say to one another or what they say amongst themselves. All this interview is is two women talking amongst themselves, talking a bunch of foolishness. Laughing and joking back and forth about things that aren't even realistic. Because not doing things to get the attention of men is not the reality of her life. The reality of her life is if every man that comments on her photos and every man that comments on her videos and every man that tells her how wonderful she is and how beautiful she is and how he drink her bath water. You know, all that stuff. D. Lane's be talking to these women. If every man stopped doing that for a month, that girl would go crazy. She probably come out with several different new looks, trying to change a new look and draw men back in. So never believe that a woman who has sought men's validation and achieved men's validation suddenly doesn't need it. No, she's just getting so much of it where she feels like she can talk about it like this. Because she feels like she's not going to lose it.
So what if a thousand men say, OK, I won't follow her no more. There's a hundred thousand other men that still follow her. So she has a limitless supply of validation right now, but let every man pull it from her. I say do that. If you follow her, man, just pull it. Every man, pull your validation away from that woman. She ain't dressing like that for you. Why are you looking at her? Why are you come in and tell them how beautiful she is? She don't even care if you think she's beautiful. She don't care what you think. She just said, I don't care what you think. I don't do this for you. She's apologizing for making you attracted to her. What kind of slap in the face is that? Here's a woman that's telling you, I don't care if you're attracted to me. I don't want your attraction. Keep it to yourself. I do this for me, not for you. Go somewhere else. Look somewhere else. I didn't mean to turn you on. That's what she's saying. She's saying she didn't mean to turn you on. That wasn't her intent. So turn yourself off. This is a woman saying, your validation is worthless. But she's only saying what I've been saying forever. Validating a woman serves no purpose for you. And it serves no purpose for her except to know which men are simps and which men are pimps. That's all it does. Does it feel good that she enjoy? Yeah. But it doesn't mean anything. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out. Beta's claiming to